My name is Matt Warren, and I am the leader of the Great White Ghost Watchers of Landmark College. I started the group because I'm sort of crazed about uh, supernatural entities and powers. I first hear heard about this club, I believe it's a ghost hunting club, from one of my good friends and her friend Matt War, both good friends of mine. I heard about it from a friend of mine, very good friend. I heard about it from a friend. I thought that the club was interesting me and I wanted to know maybe if I could be able to be a ghost hunter. I think what made me decide to actually join this, I just wanted to do it, so I just went with it. Today we're going to be in the cemetery uh, on the road of Putney. Uh, it's sort of small, nice little cemetery, not like one of the huge ones you usually find around here. We went to a graveyard and tried to get a sense of, like, a sense off the gravestone. You know, try to feel like what the ghost is feeling. So we could even sense a ghost. Tonight's activity was a lot of fun. We got to go to the graveyard and stuff. Um, we went to the tombstones uh, to see if we could feel spirits, and we did it once by ourselves, and then we did it once in a group with another person. All okay, right, so um, I guess yeah, what I'm right. gonna do is sit at the foot of the grave, foot of the gravestone. Uh, we're just gonna say, I didn't know who's buried there, obviously. Okay. Around the bed. Um, what the group is doing now are uh, electronic voice phenomena, which is you have a recording device and you place it in between you, or next to you, or around you, you know? And that recording device would capture uh, spirit voices. I'm looking and trying to feel of other gravestones, but I don't get the gravestones. Right now, I am looking for a gravestone in which I feel something. I feel the spiritual energy still going around. That's working. Although, right now it's hard because it's night and I can't read the tombstone. And I can't tell the difference between an actual tombstone and a tombstone that's for the whole entire time. Memorial to Mother. Apparently, from these two neighbors called Geese, the uh, sheriff or something came. I gave them my information, and they're just like, hey, just be careful, don't do anything stupid. I was like, yeah, we weren't doing anything stupid, it was just the neighbors being derp. So, the neighbors were complaining and stuff like that for no particular reason. But I could sort of understand, like, hey, some kids in the graveyard, they better not be, like, smoking weed or anything, like some fools have been doing in the, few, in the past. Once I get out the things needed, well, I guess I suddenly got it some dive much deeper on the um, understanding for those who have passed, in the sense of spirits and people before us. And I got some really like angry feelings. I think I was never so much laugh. I felt like this feeling was glaring at me and it was so mad that I was there. And then like uh, then left was, side of the hill or right side of the hill? Uh, top right, like where the happens. I did not sense any ghosts, but I did feel pretty Oh, well, it was it was a uh, it was both spiritual and emotional because I could feel for the actual family, human being type side of it, but I could also feel the spiritual. Well, I just only got it some got a much deeper under, um, understanding for those who have passed in the sense of spirits and people before us. Uh, yeah, I learned, like I just said, spirits are possible. And they don't always just go up, sometimes they linger. And the graveyard investigation was a major success. Aside from having the neighbors complain, but they would have complained anyway. We didn't get a lot of experiences from this graveyard. We'll find more uh, places that are haunted. We 
executed our plan perfectly. No one was going crazy. Uh, they were all, all the group members were scientifically minded. The people who mock the group don't really get what the group is about. The people that mock the group think it's a joke. Well, I don't hate them for having a different view. I would just tell them, hey, give it a try. You might be surprised what you see. We're very serious about this, and we're just trying to get a deeper understanding of, well, what's out there. We're looking for a little bit of truth. I think they're just scared, and they don't understand. They uh, don't know what the group is all about. I feel there's always going to be people like that for anything to do. People who are skeptical about the group, uh, they think they're allowed to be skeptical. Then we'll just try to prove them wrong. That will be fine. The people who think we're really stupid and stuff like that, they obviously don't know me. They have nothing to worry about. I, I would invite friends of mine or people that I know, you know, check the group out and and do the group. It's a lot of fun. I get to see my friends there. What clubs are for? To learn new things, have fun, see people, sometimes meet new people. The people in the club are all amazing. It's very welcoming. The people are extremely nice. They're they're open to the idea of if you have no knowledge whatsoever, or even if you're extremely against it, you know, and you just want to see what it's like. They're extremely open to whatever you feel. If you want to join, you just want to join. That's it. You can have your own personal reasons. It doesn't matter. Yes, I did have fun tonight. They want people to join the group, buddy. They want to include everyone in it. Like they don't want to exclude anyone. People in the group are serious about tunning, and I would never do anything to mock that. It's, it's, it's very, uh, they do, the campus's ghost club does a very good job. I think, personally, my, the highlight of this is club for myself is spending time with my friends.